Hey folks, Alex McMahon here of Evolve Nutritional Therapy, and today we're going to be continuing on in our video series on why you stress, eat, and how to stop. So the topic that we're covering today is stress in your mood. The big thing is when we look at this all from an evolutionary lens, we can see that when somebody's more stressed out, obviously their mood is going to go down. And using that same evolutionary lens, we can see from that perspective, if somebody has a lower mood, then their chances of both survival and procreating are both going to decrease. Now, the two main objectives from that same evolutionary perspective is to survive long enough to be able to pass on your genetics. So if your mood is decreased, both of those are actually going to go down a little bit. So as a result of that, your brain will increase food cravings for calorie-dense, hyperpalatable foods that are really easy to overeat. They're going to be rich in things like sugar, carbohydrates, salt, and fat. Now, the reason for this is because all those foods that are hyperpalatable and calorie-dense are going to spike a hormone in your brain called dopamine. And dopamine is the feel-good hormone, and it's almost kind of like an evolutionary pat on the back for doing something that helps you either to A, survive, or B, procreate. So when you eat those foods that trigger that reward center in your brain, or if you go out and you have sex with somebody, it also triggers that same reward center in your brain. And what it does is it makes you feel good as a way to encourage more of that behavior. So when we have dopamine in the brain, it makes us feel good, and then it also makes us want to return to those same behaviors that made us feel good. So by eating those foods, we trigger dopamine. That dopamine leaves us feeling better, and then from there, we find ourselves chasing more dopamine by trying to eat those same calorie-dense, hyperpalatable foods. Another thing to keep in mind that's really interesting is if those foods that you're eating are rich in both sugar and carbohydrates, they're going to spike your insulin. And when you have a spike in insulin, it actually blunts the stress hormone cortisol. So that's another way that you can actually eat these hyperpalatable foods when you're in a worse mood, and it's going to make you feel better even for a short period of time because it's going to blunt that cortisol. It's going to relieve those feelings of stress and allow you to feel a little bit better until that wears back off and cortisol comes back up. So these are all some of the reasons why when you feel stressed and your mood goes down, you find yourself craving these calorie-dense, hyperpalatable foods as a result of that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in video five. And if you find yourself currently struggling with stress eating, or if you want to change your body composition, I have just a thing for you. I'm offering a limited time, free 30 to 45 minute one-on-one -on -one nutrition consultation with myself. If you click the link in the bio right up there, it'll take you to a certain form. Fill that out. You and I will set a time, and then we'll hop on the phone and we'll discuss what your goals are, what's preventing you from reaching those goals, and then how we can remove those barriers to allow you to more easily and sustainably achieve your goals. So I look forward to chatting with you.